I want to point out a few uh, economic reasons why it's pretty much impossible that Iran's nuclear program is not exclusively for peaceful purposes. And um, I'm not going to use uh, any of the type of things where maybe Israel is saying they have a picture of a nuclear weapon or a computer graphic or whatever. I'm going to look at it strictly from common sense um, economic concerns. This is a pie chart of the world consumption of energy in 2006. As the percentages go, it's the percentages are about the same today. Uh, you know, the numbers are higher, but the percentage is about the same. The vast majority of energy used in the world is for crude oil, coal, also natural gas. Now, Iran has the second largest natural gas reserves in the world, with Russia being number one. Net nuclear energy is actually a very small portion. Um, so, when in the case of Iran, it does not make any sense, you know, and I'm point out what their energy consumption is. They are using uh, their natural gas reserves, which are reportedly good for 100 years, and their crude oil reserves, which are good for 50 years or more. Um, and actually, I don't know, I don't know how they calculated 50 years on the crude oil because I came up with a different number. But 2% uh, for hydroelectric and 1% for coal. In the case of Iran, it makes no economic sense to go the route of nuclear energy. And also, they could be going with 100% uh, much safer thorium nuclear energy than the program they're using. Um, all, the other safety concerns is um, that arose was also, this is an article from April 1st, 2011. Now, Iran also sits pretty much in a fairly active earthquake area of the world, uh, just like Japan. And Japan had this nuclear accident due to the tsunami and earthquake. Um, I would think that Japan's nuclear program is probably much safer than Iran's. And um, just knowing how the Japanese are, for one, and the other thing is, um, talking about Russian technology, I don't necessarily think, it's just my personal opinion, I don't really think Russian technology is necessarily all that safe. You know, looking at some of the things that happened with the planes recently, um, you know, ice hockey team was killed. Uh, I know they said it was an accident, but a lot of people uh, don't really buy into that. But... Uh, I don't know why that is. You know, I know sometimes there's some real geniuses in Russia as far as engineers go, but sometimes the the production of products can be good or bad. It's a it's a mixed bag. Um, so Iran is using you know Russian technology for its uh, nuclear power plants. Um, the other thing is, you know, I mentioned that they have to be put them underground because they have to harden them from possible Israeli attack also the sanctions and everything that's going on you'd almost think if it was strictly over energy they wouldn't be doing it because you know space iran just says you know okay these people are crazy you know these u.s people are nuts they're uh putting sanctions on us we're just trying to do energy the israelis are doing this it isn't worth it economically for all the money they're spending on this stuff it just isn't worth it it isn't worth it so my conclusion is, it is for nuclear weapons. But does that mean Iran is an aggressor? No, not necessarily. A lot of people have nuclear weapons just as a deterrence. And it could be the same thing for Iran. But they're talking about their nuclear power plant will satisfy only 2% of Iran's projected electricity consumption. Not their total energy consumption. 2% of their electricity consumption. So it's a, it's not it's not going to give them a big benefit and considering all the sanctions the stuff that they have to put the stuff underground it's not worth it it's not worth it and it, it to me it tells me what they have another reason for it it's, it's hands down has to be the reason it says by comparison also 18 percent of iran's electricity is wasted through transmission because of technical problems and mismanagement so they can more than make up this 2% of electricity, additional electricity you're going to get 
through nuclear electricity just by being more efficient and better management of the electricity um, and correcting some of these technical problems. Uh, you know, again, all uh, Iran's oil reserves were increased to 155 billion barrels. Now, you know, they're talking that they have 100 years of natural gas reserves and they have about 50 years of crude oil reserves. Now, I, I guess when they figured this in, uh, 50 years crude oil reserves, I, it looks like more to me because. Um, Iran's the fifth biggest producer of uh, crude oil in the world. It's uh, 4.177 4 million barrels a day, which comes out to about a billion and a half, 1.5 billion barrels a year. If they have 154.8 billion barrels, that's a, at that rate, that's 101 years. I don't know. But I mean, they're going to outlast, you know, practically every nation on Earth as far as uh, energy needs. You know, all the other nations in the world will be hurting way before Iran. So, I don't know why they're going for this uh, nuclear energy with all this trouble. It's expensive as anything, and um, it's, it's in their case, it's ridiculously expensive. And all the kind of you know stuff they're getting from the West, as far as uh, you know, sanctions and everything, doesn't make sense while they're pursuing it. Pursuing it for just energy, I doubt it. I doubt it. There's no possible way. I mean, you got to look at some other angles to this, and it doesn't make sense why they're doing this. I'm not saying that they're going to go use these, you know, I think they're producing, they're trying to produce nuclear weapons. That doesn't necessarily mean they're going to use them against people. Like I said, a lot of people have nuclear weapons just as deterrence. But in their case, I don't think that's the smartest thing to do. I know a lot of people you know, think it's all for electricity, but I, I can't see it. No way.